Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to teach your dog how to sit in three easy steps. You ready, Gizmo? Let's get into it. Okay, so those of you that are new, my name is Andy, this is my French Bulldog Gizmo, and we are on the Go Frenchies. If you guys are new, just take a second, hit the subscribe button, it really helps our channel grow so we can make more content just like this one. All right, teaching your dog to sit is an essential skill for your dog to learn. It is the basis and the foundation of most skills you will want to teach your dog in the future. Throughout these three easy steps, we never wanna force our dog into the sit position. This will be a destructive learning process for our dog. Okay, so let's start with step number one, lowering your dog into a sit position. All right, so we're first gonna start with lowering your dog into a sit position. To do this, you will need either treats or a favorite toy that will capture your dog's attention. Today, I'm gonna to use these training treats that Gizmo loves. So Gizmo is already trained in this command, but I'm gonna show you guys from the start the process. What you wanna first do is have your dog in a standing position. So with your dog in a standing position, you're gonna to wanna to slowly move the treat, lowering them into the sit position you're gonna move the treat slightly towards their face and over their head. This will cause them to drop their butt to the ground. As Soon as their butt does hit the ground, you will immediately give them a treat and say, good. This is rewarding and encouraging them, saying, this is how I get the treat. As Soon as my butt is on the ground, that's when I get it. Do not release the treat until their butt hits the ground. So with Gizmo, he already knows, as soon as he hears the bag, that he is in a sit position. He, he's so well trained with the sit that he knows. So first I'm gonna to try to get him to stand up and then I'm gonna slowly move the treat. No, no, no. I'm gonna get him to stand up again and I'm gonna move the treat towards his head and see how he went into a sit position. Good boy. So that's his reassurance that he did a good job. As soon as I said good boy, he was in the sit position. So we're gonna do that one more time. We're gonna lure him into a stand and then I'm gonna slowly move the treat towards his head See how he went into a sit position? Good boy. I'm gonna reward him immediately. Now he knows as soon as his butt hits the ground, he will get a treat. Now you wanna do this a couple times a day. You wanna do it maybe in 30 minute increments just so that your dog's not being overly worked with this. It is a mental workout for them to learn this, but again, never give them the treat until their butt hits the ground. They need to know that in that position, that's how I get the treat. Okay, so let's move on to step number two introducing the hand signal. Okay, so once your dog has the sit position down pretty well for step number one, and you're rewarding them saying, good, you wanna introduce a new hand signal to this. And that hand signal is an upward motion like this. So instead of lowering them into the position, you wanna just slightly raise your hand. Now, you can move very slowly with this. Don't just immediately start going like this and assume your dog is gonna know that hand signal. You wanna use the lower and then kind of pull up. So as soon as they get into that sit position, do the hand signal, say good, and reward them with the treat. So let's see if I can get Gizmo to do this again. Sit, good boy. And there you go. Again, repetition is important with this. Move very, very slowly. Again, this is something that is gonna take multiple practices, multiple repetition, and multiple days. Most dogs will not pick this up very quickly, so you want to move slowly and be patient with your dog in this learning process. Okay, so soon as they do reach that sit position, you do wanna reward them immediately and give them that verbal good so they know that they did a good job. Okay, so let's move on to step number three, introducing the verbal cue. To introduce the sit verbal cue, you're gonna to wanna to first make sure that your dog has step two down very well and understands the hand signal and responds to it immediately. So once they have that, you can easily start to implement the sit verbal cue. To do this, you're just gonna say sit with the hand signal and soon as they sit down, you reward them. They will soon start to associate the word with the hand signal and be able to respond to either one of the two, the verbal or the hand signal. So please remember that this process does take time in between each step. You don't wanna rush your dog and you wanna have patience. Every dog learns at a different pace, so don't assume that your dog is gonna learn all these steps in one day. What I would recommend is to do 30 minute training sessions or even implement you know, throughout your daily life whenever you feed them in the morning, at night, maybe try to get them to sit a little bit for like 10, 15 minutes, you know, with their actual dog kibble, or, you know, when you have a favorite toy, training them with that and playing with them, burning off some of that energy. 
And you know, this is all stuff that's gonna help them learn other skills in their future. You don't wanna overwork your dog either with training them for hours on end. This is just gonna cause fatigue and it's gonna be destructive to the learning process. They're just not gonna pick it up as fast as you want. So once your dog learns the sit command, it opens up the possibilities to train them and teach them so many more skills. So take your time and also be patient with your dog. Lastly, I am not a licensed dog trainer. This is just information and advice that I've come across with my dogs and I wanted to share it with you guys. If you guys need a little extra help, please seek out a licensed dog trainer. It truly does help. Okay, so that's three easy steps to teach your dog to sit. Hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, and you guys liked this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and hit the bell so you guys get notifications when we post new videos just like this. Thanks again, happy training, right guys? Good boy. Bye.